going to tell her at you. I present to you the magnificent, legendary, <laughs> downright terrifying, terrifying Fiona Clark's turkey reading. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, 
that kind of W E S T E or W A I T. Yeah, I think someone could someone could have been having sex with her. Now she's now she's dead. Out of my way! Let me through. In the weltering confusion, the passengers went stumbling back up the pedway, jumping and stumbling, falling and crawling, fleeing back into the shuttle. The lazy afternoon broke apart in flame and horror. <laughs> These diseased inhabitants of the planet fought amongst themselves. Virgo was only lightly populated, so Hook understood that he guessed the disease had not spared anyone on, on round the curve of the world. No one who stayed down here would survive. Everyone battled for a place in the shuttle. Again, the gunman blasted from the custom shed, and this time the energy whipped away a stumbling, maddened crowd of the diseased heaven. Once the people of Mergon got their diseased hands on the shuttle, then lift off, take HD of Starship, uh, Tal <laughs> and, and no doubt in the ship, <laughs> and no doubt in escaping the source of the pandemic of their own planet spreading across the centre of the galaxy, each would be motivated only by the desire. Time to stop with the word pandemic. penetrating eyes that had spotted the light. She pointed far out to sea, taking Val's hand as she did so. Look, darling. Look, there it is. What is it? I'm not sure. His keen grey eyes gazed out steadily across the moonlit waters. I think it's a boat, said Elspeth. A boat with a light at the front. Val tried hard to remember a story that uh, he had once read. No, not read, started to read. A story that had begun with a crew of a rather supersti <laughs> a crew of rather superstitious seamen in, uh, in the old days of sail, sighting a weird light with, that turned out to, um, on closer inspection, be a corpse candle. This light had a yellower gleam than any electric illumination could offer and it seemed, at this distance, to be flickering. Val wondered whether the yellowness of the illumination was the result of a contrast provided by the silvery flecks of moonlight across the almost greeny-white fluorescence of the myriads of tiny sea creatures nearby the wave tops. And stop. <laughs> <laughs> Any advance on the count? Um. Don't you carry on. Oh. Another 10B? Okay. I'll put another phone in. <laughs> <laughs> Stop carry on. I don't think you can outbid that. I've got to suffer, all of you have got to suffer. <laughs> okay. The light grew steadily closer. Elspeth and the, and the steermans continued gazing out towards it. Definitely a boat, exclaimed Noir at last. Val turned his head and lit her. Really odd. What? A boat, a, a boat on the sea. Yes. I, I wonder which word you thought was odd. <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the whole concept of, of boats and on the sea. On the sea, of oh, all places, really. Yeah. <laughs> Val turned his head and listened. Uh, uh, sorry. Val turned his head a little and listened. Oars, he murmured. Very definitely oars. <laughs> they are rowing very. They're rowing very quietly, said Elspeth. <laughs> but, but I can hear them too. An adventurous sixth sense uh, warned Val this might be a very good time to take, evas uh, uh, to take evasive observing action. 
have a duty to read vampire letters from the sex books. Unfortunately, <laughs> somebody I'm forgot to bring their vampire letters from the sex books, so I've got the delicious things reading from Fiona Richmond. Uh, that well known author. That well known author. And something by Sherry Gottlieb. Who's, this is more of a, a straight book, but I've still managed to find some bits. <laughs> Prepare for your ears to bleed. <laughs> Where's your ashtray? And for fish and cigarettes out of the press on the floor next to the bed. Whatever you left, wherever you left it last weekend, Jace wiped the sweat off his chest with the end of the sheet. Ellen found the ashtray under the bed, still contained the butts of cigarettes she'd smoked the week before. Mm. Mm. Sounds like my eyes. Mm. Um, if my husband's church of England, I'll smoke and drink for me. Um, yeah. Well, it's, she was hanging over the edge of a tree, but he kissed her bare ass. She would look appreciative being straightened up, but she missed a cigarette. That was fast. Oh, we're actually coming to the end of this chapter. Oh, <laughs> 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 
I'm feeling yeah. more, more sorry for the half than I am for the I am. I'm so bad. Especially with laying eggs on the bottom of it. Oh dear. Right, but this, the just trouble boy is all the Chinese food on it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. You never have a piece of cheese. He was on the cheese. What is there a half in the fridge? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. anyway, he downed it like a medicine. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he downed it like medicine for that tasting it. That's probably from the best. Yeah. 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 He was smoking on the couch, fishing, his, fishing in the second bottle when Alan came, his, uh, came out of the bedroom, fully dressed, cursed man. He plucked out a grey pubic hair. It hurts. She came over and sat next to him. Who's pubic hair? She was dressed. She was dressed. Unless I have something to do. on the floor, but well, this place is not clean. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't say where I'm from. Is it we had a lot of times together, and I don't regret it for a minute. Oh, please don't either. We've both got me once out of this. Please try not to take it personally. Yeah, I'm going to... Can we still be friends? Yes. Yeah. Are we friends? It's not you, it's me. Yeah. He knew we should try and say something, make it easy for him, but not knowing what he was feeling why. He couldn't talk. He searched for more grey hairs. The silence screamed. Finally, Ellen leaned over and kissed him on the cheek. He pulled away. She got up and walked to the door. Goodbye, Jace. She opened the door and was gone. And you three and into the next chapter of the show. No, no, no. no, 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 no. I have in my hand mm. a book called Planet of Peril. Woo! <laughs> and it is not merely alone. It is the maker of this, of this work of art. Also created the Swordsman of Mars, the Outlaws of Mars. So obviously go on for a bit of a, of a mystery in this one. <laughs> and it's a 1930s one, which I thought that, that's kind of going to be And it's got a classic, classic cover. And, uh, there's, there, there's apparently some body swapping going on. And it's involved in Venus, so it's got to be some things. On the evening following her capture, Vernia was choking down a small portion of the sticky mess. There's no... <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what happened in the previous paragraph. When she saw Rotha entering the woman's quarters, the girl ran towards her and buried her face in her bosom, weeping softly. Again, I'm not quite sure who, who's the girl. Um, Verne had noticed several bruises on her shoulders and arms and the bluish prints of huge fingers on her neck. Poor child, Verne, I must know. They have abused you shamefully. The girl looked up into her eyes and there was a smile on her quivering lips. I weep not with sorrow, Vanya Ribbon, she whispered. It is because of my great joy that I cannot control myself. I tremble with rapture and thrill with the memory of a wonderful experience. <laughs> <laughs> but you have been choked and beaten. You do not understand. The man who made those marks then you were rescued, tell you. When I entered the mating pens, Oro, whom I love, met me at the gate and conducted me to the man for whom I have been destined by the king's sight. On the way, I besought him to take me to an empty room and leave me until tonight. But he said such tactics would be useless that we would surely be found out if the Sadi should put us both to death with horrible tortures, not nice tortures. <laughs> no, not nice tortures. <laughs> no. uh, cushion. <laughs> The comfy chair. <laughs> 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 the nasty torches. When he led me into the room, a great hairy man leapt up from the corner, seized me by the arms. I cried out and struggled to escape him. Oro had leapt, but he must have heard me. I cried, for I saw him enter the room, and just as the hairy giant hurled me to the floor. Would mm. that you could have seen my beloved in that moment. My Vernalia. My Vernia. He was magnificent, with blazing eyes and set lips. He grasped my assailant, held him for a moment aloft, and then threw him to the floor with such violence that I could hear the snapping of his bow. <laughs> he stood glowering down at like this all for a moment, then lifted me tenderly into his arms on his sanction, and whispered words of comfort, cuddling me as one would a little child. Oh, he's such a sweetie. He's oh, such a sweetie. Presently, he, he wouldn't save her from being raped, but he would come to her after. Presently, he set me down on my feet and would have gone away, but I begged him not to leave me. Tempt me not, he said. 
lest I further transgress the laws of our masters and the sabbaths. Think that you are a fashion of stone? Well, I shall don't know. <laughs> <laughs> then he swept me in his arms and pressed his lips to mine while I trembled and grew weak with the joy of that first kiss of love. And so it came that Oro the mighty made me his mate and swore that I was his and he was mine forever and ever. Is that not wonderful? It is wonderful, said Bernier, to have known your true love for, for only a day. But will Oro not be punished by the Sabines? If he is found out, but during the night he took the body to the river and after weighing it with stones sank into the deep water, the natural supposition will be the man escaped. Into the dust 
Right. Well, Can you please stop? <laughs> no, well, look, I've got to get through at least a paragraph after a bit. Okay, another five for you to carry on. <laughs> Which dominates large portions of the Norgolian Empire? Age-worn hoof prints smothered by the sifting sands of time shone belly against the dust flattered crust of the earth. The, the timeless sun cast its parching rays of incandescence from overhead. Halfway through its daily revolution, small rodents scampered about, occupying themselves in the daily accomplishments of their dismal lives. <laughs> Does they know he's the Doesn't know. <laughs> Does spread over Judgmental. Uh, three heaving mounts in blinding clouds while they bore the burdens and cargoes of the stripling overseers. Prepare to embrace your creators in the Stygian halts of hell, barbarian. <laughs> yes, the first soul. <laughs> Only after you have kissed the fleeting steed of death, wretch, returned the Greek nerd. <laughs> Don't need me to stop. I didn't think it was right. Another thing you mean to carry on, I want to hear more of this. Don't need me to stop. Stop and start. I think I'm all right, that was to start, but then I think it was already been out there. <laughs> A swinging blade of flashing steel riveted from the massive barbarian high enameled shields as his rippling right arm thrust forth, sending a steel shot, shot blade to the hilt into the soldier's vital organs. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> okay, I'll try again. <laughs> A sweeping blade of flashing steel riveted from the massive barbarian, barbarian's hide enamel shield as his rippling right arm thrust forth, sending a steel shod blade to the hilt into <laughs> the soldier's vital organs. He's riveted, used as a verb there. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just trying to follow it. We have a bit of 40p to stop already in the pot. And to continue. Oh. <laughs> oh. Actually, let's make it three pounds to continue. Oh. 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 That's got to buy you a page at least. <laughs> The disemboweled mercenary crumpled from his saddle and sank to the clouded sword, sprinkling the par parched dust with crimson dot droplets of escaping, escaping light fluid. Blood. Yeah. That's yeah. what they mean. Blood. You've got to take them all out. You've got to take them all out. Oh, Swiddled about, his shock of fiery red hair tossing robustly in the humid air currents as he faced the attack of the defeated soldiers in arms. Damn you, barbarian! shrieked the soldiers he observed his comrade in death. A gleaming scimitar smote a heavy blow against the renegade's spiked helmet, bringing a heavy cloud over the Accordion's. Accordion? <laughs> Shaking off the effect of the pounding blow to his well, head, Grigner brought down his scarlet streaked edge against the soldier's crudely forged hauberk, clanging harmlessly to the left side. Where's the scarlet edge thing come from? When he, when he did for the... Oh, is that covered in blood? Yeah, covered in light fluid. Yeah, it's <laughs> light fluid. Well, light fluid is scarlet, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where are we? Oh, no, no. Um, soldiers crudely forged hover, climbing harmlessly to the left side of his opponent. The soldier's steed whinnied as he directed the horse back from the driving blade of the barbarian. 
breaking our lashed his mouth forward, and the hoarsely piercing battle cry of his wilderness bred race resounded from his grinding lungs. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> a twirling blade bounced harmlessly from the mighty thief's buckler as his rolling right arm cleft upward, sending a foot of blinding steel rippling through the Sumerian's exposed gullet. I can't look at what's happened. How many different ways of this one sword and this one? Yeah. <laughs> 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 As his rolling right arm left upward, sending a I'm not sure. I think the twirling blade. No, it's a smear in the So that's not a a gasping gurgle from the soldier's writhing mouth as he tumbled to the golden sand at his feet and wormed agonizingly in his deathbed. We had a Where are you going? hissed uh, June with alarm. 
I have to look, of course, replied Steve, giving a grunt of satisfaction as he closed his hand on the flashlight. Must you? It definitely says flashlight, so I'm, I'm having to um, assume what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Must you? Uh, uh, Steve laid a hand on June's arm. It's all right, love. You just sit here, light a lamp, and I'll be back in a moment. Be <laughs> careful. That's going to go well. Yes. yes. <laughs> Neither of these characters are genre savvy, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> June shivered as Steve went to the door and slowly eased it open. He paused for a moment and then passed out into the hall. <laughs> <laughs> a while and then searched the tabletop for a box of matches. Within a moment, she had lit the old oil lamp. There were no sounds now in the old bungalow. But she, heard, but she had heard something. There were no sounds, but she had heard something. Right. It was probably someone stealing the law. But she had heard something. She had, like, affirmation. Right? Um, a creaking noise. The thud of a slow, shuffling step. She had heard it. Like, no, we're, we're, like she's not in denial about it. Um, she stood nervously in the middle of the room, arms hugged around her shoulders, lips pressed together. <laughs> What was that? Her head jerked up nervously. A slow creaking noise. It must be Steve ascending the stairs to the attic room. Steve crept stealthily up the uh, creaking stairway. Oh, so he's come around now. Um, <laughs> it was unlike June to be so nervous, he reflected. She was usually fa a fairly practical person, and certainly not given to hysteria, this was written by a man. Um, she, had, she had in order... She had to be in order to carry out uh, her job as a social worker in North London. Where one encountered all kinds of problems that a person of a nervous disposition could not hope to cope with. Oh, it's, it's, of course, like the point where he's creeping up the stairs to investigate the, 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 the whatever's making the noise yeah. is exactly the right place for backstory. Yes. He's just recovered from his Yeah. Oh, I don't know 
not been the opener. Yeah, I'm, this is the next bit of the foreplay. Oh, there you are. I was wondering when you were getting up to. That's right, Tom Quirt brought pe pe his famous food down there and made a pew stand on end. <laughs> she's got talent in bits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she she she's a one. Each one. <laughs> Just making sure she should be on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Did she has me. <laughs> yes, she has been. Get stage up. Just making sure the uh, unwanted is at the right temperature, Tom. Plus the piggy. As she walked past him into the noir.
Sorry, literal. <laughs> <laughs> and on that, there's a 20 quid. And on that, that was... 